Okay, so right now I'm going to be showing you how to add a member's database connected to the custom sign-up form in your Wix website using Velo by Wix. Yeah, that's right, using Velo by Wix. We are going to learn how to do that. And well, um... Why would you want to do that? Why would you want to add a member's database connected to the custom sign-up form in your which website? Why would you want to do that, right? Um, well, because if you do that, you could even do a web, a very advanced website with that, similar to Facebook or Twitter, or any of those very advanced websites. You can make them with Wix if you do this. I'm not going to show you how to make the social networking thing similar to Facebook or Twitter. I'm just going to show you how to make a database to do that, right? To do... So that with the database, you can usually do many things. You, it's not only for making a social network, it's for making a social network and with some members on it and many other things too, right? So for making a social network, like to display the members, you will need like to add a, just like a repeater or something like that. And, but right now I'm not gonna show you how to do that. Right now I'm only gonna show you how to add the member database to their Wix website, right? And so that you can see privately all the members that are in your website or even do a social networking, um, website with it, right? And well, um, so, um, the, another, um, so I already did a video how to do the sign up form, and now we're usually gonna connect the database to that sign up form. But before doing that, we need to create a database. So go to the editor of the Wix website that you're building right now, just to start, and now you will put developer mode on, I already have it turned on already. And now you will go to this databases section there. I also have a video how to create databases. You can see it if you want. And what well, we're gonna, by right now we're gonna create a database, especially for the members. So that is why I'm just gonna show you how to do this again. And uh, because this is especially for the members. So it's like a kind of like a different process there. And now we will click add a new collection. So we're going to create like a collection there. And we're going to do one to start from a scratch. Right? Because in this one is just like to make, you can make like a social networking thing, I think with this one, but I just prefer to make the social networking thing by myself. Right? And I'm not going to show you how to make the social networking thing, just how to, put it in the database. So I'm just gonna put it blank. And I'll give this collection a name. I'm just gonna call it members. And now set a collection ID to use in your code. I'm just gonna put members. And now what is this collection for? Um, you're gonna put custom use. So now who can read content from this collection? So the admin, the website owner, the site member owner, the register user who can modify their own content, um, the site member or registered user or anyone, any site visitor. So admin is just that um, the information of the person that became a member just you only have it. Now the site member order is that no one has it, okay? No one has it. Only the person that did her own, his own profile only like has it. Like the database is for something else. It's not for you to see it, for no one to see it. Just the person who created the profile can see their own profile, okay? And now for site member is a register user can go into the website and see the site member that was created. But for that, we will need like a repeater and all of those things. Like if you select this, 
any site visitor won't be able to see the take see the members unless you are a repeater connected to the database. But right now I'm not gonna show you how to do that as I said. Um and now this any one is like kind of the same as the same member one. A same member can see it, but in any one is anyone. If it is a same member or not, in your website or not they can see it, okay? But just if you are like that repeater connected to the database, as I said. So, um, for this example, I'm just gonna put the side member one, which is the registered user who can see it. But this is just an example, okay? Be um, right now we're not gonna add a repeater or anything. So this is just like a little example there. And now, okay, we're gonna put your side member who can create content from this collection. So, for example, if you're doing like, I don't know, um, so who can create content from this collection? Um, you just put like, um, for this example, I'm gonna put a side member because maybe like in the members thing, you will add something for the side members to create something. Of course, you will need to add other functions. It wouldn't be as fast. Just put that there and then it will add something. No, you have to create from zero, right? Because it is enveloped by weeks and enveloped by weeks. I say like basically everything is done like from zero. And now who can update content from this collection? So, um, the admin, only the admin can update the person profile, the side member order, okay, the side member creator profile can edit their own profile, uh, or the side member, which is a registered user, any side member can edit their profile, which wouldn't be good, right? Because then they can just put a for change their profile photo or all of those things and anyone just anyone can go and edit your profile i think that the one that will mostly make sense is the side member other one the same side member that registered that sign that made its account can edit its own account okay and now the who can delete content from this collection so who can delete the person's profile so the admin the admin deletes the person's profile just if they want to that one okay because maybe it has like some inappropriate content or something like that like an inappropriate photo or something like that but yeah um I, and now we have side member order which i think will be the best one because okay it makes more sense the person who created their own profile can delete their own profile right now site member and registered user on the website can delete their profile that's just very bad right because then i just sign up and delete your profile and now anyone anyone <laughs> that makes me laugh anyone on the website can delete their profile i think the one that mostly makes sense is the site member order one and now we're gonna click, click set and create collection And you're gonna select it and you're gonna see this um wait a second I'm just gonna delete that there is because i think i did an or database of this just to test it just ignore that thing they're okay um i don't think you will have it in yours 
um, and this thing I'm just gonna delete it too, right? Because that is because I have done another database and then I'm just gonna go there. And okay, so we're gonna put the type to sandbox, we want the sandbox database. And now we're gonna click that little plus button and we're gonna add all the, um, all the things that we want to get from the person who signed up to your website. So all the, um, all the information that we want to collect from the member that signed up to the website. So, um, I, I, for this example, I'm just going to collect the email and the email is a text, right? So we're going to set the type to text. Now, if you want to create your profile photo, you will have to add an input of the profile photo. For people to usually add their own profile photo and put this one that will stay like just profile picture as an example and then set this to e image and then you can collect their name and all of those things. Just do the same as the email, just change the name to name. Uh, or any other thing, I'm just gonna put there the name who it is, right? I just, I just like to do that so that I don't get messed up. And you can like, yeah, put all of those things there from the member. A text can be many things. A text can be the email. A text can be their name, okay? And um, for this example, I'm just gonna collect their email. Now, what we need to do is do for that, when a user sign up, usually the email appears right there in that bottom, right? And now this title thing, just ignore it. It, it is just going to be there always. There is not a form to delete it. Um, you see, you can then delete it. Um, you can use it for some things, but not really. I don't really like to use that, I mean, because it's not like really like useful. It's just like an example there. Um, and now we are gonna exit this there. And now we're gonna usually collect the information to go to the database once a user signs up. So we need to go there to menus and pages and we're gonna go to the sign up page that we created the other time. Now we're gonna click on this email thing and we're gonna click connect to data. Now we're, wait a second, I just have delete, to delete that database here because I did it like another time. And now we're gonna click on this email, just ignore that, okay? It wouldn't appear in your things. And now we're gonna click on that email thing, we're gonna cr click cre connect data. And now we're gonna click create a data set. Now we're gonna choose a collection, we will be the member's collection. And uh, you're gonna put the data set name. As an example, I'm just gonna put the members, their members, and that's it. Now we're gonna click create and this that this detail that that set thing there wouldn't we be like really visible right on when like people go to your website. So we're gonna click on this email thing and you know, as we see it's already connected to data to the data set members and now value connects to email and now we're going to click this button thing and we're going to click connect to data. Now we're going to choose a data set and the data set will be members data set. And now click action connects to submit. And now we're going to add a success message when the people successfully um, did their profile, right? So we're going to click add a success message. And now we're, I'm just gonna move it there because I think it looks really good there if I move it there. I'm gonna change this to your account has been created. And you can change the font of this, the font size, the color, all of those things, okay? You can even add some effects there, correcting our space line, vertical text, SEO, SEO and accessibility. 
with you can add many things or even you can add animations or you can get some help and it is connected to data so to the member data set and it is to commit success and now we're gonna click on the button again we're gonna click there that connected to data button now we're gonna add a failure message when they when they couldn't create your account and for this you can do the same with this you can add the font that is the color put it by put it italic and all of those things here effects all of those things and even animations get some help and it is connected to data that i'm just gonna leave it like that as we see it is connected to data members and it is connected to a submit field and now we're just gonna move this there down and now we go to the bottom thing everything is disconnected there and now when successful and um, will they tell stay on this page or just go to a link um as an example i'm gonna add a link right and i'm gonna add a link to the home page now if you click done and that's it you will not connect the label you will not connect the label okay and that's it we have finished creating a database for the members and well every time a member signs up here um now their their email will appear so down here in this email thing in the little box there the email of the member that just registered will appear there if you want to get your data off it just do what i said and it will appear down there too so the um for example if you had if you have only 10 members in your site then 10 boxes will appear there, which is email of each user. And since you have the email of them, which I'm connecting that them and you want to get a type of that, but I'm getting the data of the email, then each email of each user will appear, right? And um, of each 10 users, as an example, of course, they can be who a million users in your website, however. And yeah, we have finished doing this. and. Now, bye. This was all the video.